Alan. Alan, we're here. We're at the William Pereira 1963 Metropolitan Water District building. This is a closely watched train. There's a demo permit at the corner of this building at Sunset and um, Sunset and Beaudry. We'll go film this in a minute. I need, okay, uh, this actually, this site, 1963, is this low rise, right? Right. And then right. behind us, I hope you can see in the shot, is the tower. It's the 1970 addition to the tower. These two properties are distinct. Linear City owns the tower. It's now residential, so that's good. Same. Thumbs up. What's happening here? Tell us about this 1963 William Pereira Metropolitan Water District building and, and, and why we should care that there's a demo permit up on it. Yeah. Well, it is, first of all, by William Pereira, who is one of the master architects and shapers in Southern California at a period when it was attaining a, a power and a cultural glory uh, unparalleled really in the United States and modern architecture was a big, big part of that. Um, Pereira was a Southern California architect, he understood how people lived here, he understood that they didn't always just want old international style modernism, which was 40 or 50 years old at the time, they wanted something new from their modernism. This is what he gave them. You see that in the, the, the especially these columns. This is a modern building. Yeah, it's gorgeous. These are structural concrete columns with uh, concrete beams which support the, uh, the, the different levels of the building. What that means is that the interior doesn't have any columns. So it can be arranged any way the inhabitant, in this case an office, uh, building one, one thing to have. Them. So it's practical, it's functional, it's modern. But then also look at these columns. They're, they're kind of twins, uh, and they're tapered, and they uh, are, are definitely sculpture. So he's taking functionalism, and he's taking, turning it into sculpture, and creating really in many ways a, a new direction for modernism in the early 1960s. I love it. Let's quickly walk through some salient features so people can come out, take a picture of themselves in front of the demo permit with, with, a, with looking really sad. Yeah. Uh, things they can look for. So we've got we've got pools, we've got railings. Just give us a quick when people show up here, what what, what they can look for yeah. that's iconic Pereira, which shows up later, say in Lacma, exactly, which is his next project after this. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Pereira's reputation, uh, which isn't really earned, is as a Hollywood architect that he was just superficial and did a lot of decorative things to grab people's attention. That simply isn't true when you start to look at his buildings. Talk about the, uh, the columns, the structure of the building, which is turned into sculpture, but then it comes down to the, the level of you know, the, the human walking along a walkway, and there are these really beautiful uh, railings as well, fairly intricately uh, fitted together, as you shall see, um, but create the ornament and the ornamental interest in the building. Then, of course, it's being Southern California. And the water district. And the water district. Pools of water are a big part of this design, uh, as it originally was conceived. Now, so they're just, they're just all... The, they originally were all through this original part of the, uh, of the right. headquarters. And, and in, in the tower, you've all done a great job bringing them back. So yeah. if you want and to see them working, some go, go yeah. at the entry to yeah. the, to the uh, Legion Tower, as it is now. The, in this part of the property, which is the threatened part of the property, um, the uh, pools are empty. You can see and imagine, and in Julius and Schultz's photos, you can actually see exactly how they fitted. The buildings grew up out of the water. There were terraces of really interesting uh, biomorphic shapes that crossed uh, along the, the, over the water as well. Then look at the patterns as well. There's this wonderful ceramic tile walkway yeah. with these kind of oval shapes uh, fitted and going in a kind of a regular sort of pattern. It's, uh, begin going from the you know, scale of the structure down to the details that you walk on, that you put your hand on. All of these things are uh, creating a whole integral piece of architecture. That was part of uh, William Pereira's office's uh, real, real brilliance as architects. Perfect. Look at the camera and tell us why we should care about this building in the back. There's a demo permit on it. The, I mean, uh, the Metropolitan Water District building 
1963. Yeah. The 1963 Metropolitan Water District building by William Pereira is a symbol of Southern California at its height, as it was growing, as it was uh, really sweeping the, the nation and the world with its, uh, its businesses, its culture, its music, its movies, you name it. Um, and this was the expression that William Pereira, the Southern California architect, gave to that sense of modern times uh, as well. So it's a piece of cultural history. It's a great piece of design representing that. Then there is also the fact that William Pereira's legacy is fast disappearing. This major architect who shaped Southern California that we live in today, at the CBS building, at the LAX uh, buildings, at the theme building, uh, at um, uh, many other skyscrapers and campuses and planned cities as well, all by Pereira, these are threatened today. This building is a key in his development as a modern architect. So it's important for that reason as well. And there are any number of ways that a building like this can be adaptively reused, as the tower has been adaptively reused very well. Uh, and so there's no reason why this can't be a really profitable economic project for the developer and a part of the legacy of the city maintained. Fantastic. Alan, thank you. I want to thank everyone for watching. Push your conscience on this through social media. Let's, let's get the word out on this. Yeah, this is an important bit. Okay.